Okay, so all of the supports are now connected using the self-tapping screws. The next thing is to take it up on the roof. I'd like to put this on the roof of the van without using any extensions. So I just want to be able to use the cable that comes with it. Um, cut the ends off and wire those straight into the solar controller. So what I'm doing is measuring out a piece of string that's the same length as the cable and then I can use that and the box <clears throat> that it came in which is basically the same size to check whether or not that cable is actually going to reach or whether or not I need to buy an extension. I've just put a towel over the end of the ladder so that it doesn't scuff the uh, van at all. Might not be necessary, but it doesn't hurt. This is one of the directions we could put it in. Um, in the middle of the van, crossways. And if we do that, I think it's quite clear. You can see I've marked off where the approximately where the output of the cable is. That cable <clears throat> is not going to reach it needs to come out approximately down there level with the um, this window and then obviously it needs to have some space to drop down so I'm going to try rotating it and see what it looks like with that put it this way around it has two benefits one there is some space for a small panel next to it if we want to upgrade in the future the connection cable is closer to where I want it to go <clears throat> but it's still not going to be long enough so I think I'm going to order a, a one meter extension um, that will plug in up here and then we'll cut that off to go down below. So just above the microwave is this panel and that's where we want to get into. There's a couple of screws on the side we need to take out. Here's our loom that we need to strip and plug into the Victron. Did you do that? Ah! Why did I why am I getting sparks? I've turned everything off. Sorry? But everything's off. Apart from I haven't taken the fuse off the battery. Should I take the fuse off the battery then? Point three volts. Maybe just blown a fuse. Point three. Nothing. Twist them off. Yeah. The negative in first. I seem to remember you saying that. The negative being the white orange. And the brown blue is positive. Okay, so plugging in the white orange cable which is negative into the negative battery on the Victron. And now I just need the positive in as well. I've turned everything on the sergeant off so there's no 12 volt I've disconnected from mains. And apart from the residual current that we had that scared me a moment ago, it shows up as nothing. Should we turn it on? Am I expecting something to happen? You might get a light. 
No, I don't have a light. Is it connected up? Uh, it's connected to the battery. Which should be enough. The wires are screwed in, not the plastic. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? I'm expecting, I was expecting some lights to be honest. Well, yeah. I don't know whether we've blown a fuse somewhere and. As if by magic the uh, solar panel appeared on the roof, <laughs> um, took two of us to lift it on. Um, we've got the two holes here, the gland, and just need to make sure we cut off the right ends of the extension cables. So connect this up to the Victron. Yeah, before you do, let me make sure the other side of that is not connected to the... <coughs> <coughs> I can't remember. So negative into PV. They are now connected. Okay, shall I connect up the panel? Yeah, go on then. So I'm doing a software update on the charge controller. Battery voltage 13.79. So solar voltage is 28.82 but no current. It is a grey day. It's a very grey day. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, battery died on the camera yesterday, so there's some things that we did yesterday that uh, aren't on camera. Um, obviously, we turned the uh, solar panel over um, and pushed it down. Um, we also then put some cardboard over the top to protect it and put some bricks around it just to hold it down overnight whilst it um, sticks down. Um, on all of the cables we've used these adhesive uh, cable ties to stop them flapping around and we also stuck down the gland. And today, unlike yesterday, the sun is shining so I'm going to remove this cover and see whether or not we've got some solar coming in. Right, so this is what we've got, and hopefully it's secured. It feels pretty secure. Okay, so I'm really pleased because we now have a 260 watt solar panel installed on the van, which means uh, we will be much better provisioned for wild camping uh, and uh, generally not staying at a campsite. So um, in between now and when we did the original installation, um, it took me a little while to realize why things weren't working. Um, <clears throat> originally, we were showing wattage 
um, on the panel, but no current. And at night time, the solar controller turned off. So basically, when the sun wasn't up, it wasn't getting any power. It also couldn't see uh, the battery properly either when you were having a look in the Victron Connect app. And what I realized was there was a little fizz of electricity when I stripped the wires coming into the uh, that go behind the microwave back to the sergeant um, power supply unit and when I removed the front of the power supply unit under the bench um, I found where that cable went into into port E9 and right next to it was a 10 amp fuse which makes a lot of sense because the maximum um, current that is advertised to be able to work with the sergeant is 10 amps so um, I tested that fuse, discovered that it had um, popped, replaced it with a working one and everything now works so we're getting, um, yesterday it was quite a cloudy day, we're getting about half an amp during a cloudy day and now um, we're getting um, between one and one and a half amps depending on the sun being out. It is uh, late November, nearly December so the sun is really low in the sky um, so yeah all good really um, looking forward to being able to use it in sunnier climates um, one of the things that some people are concerned about with uh, the Sergeant EHUs is that they they can only take a 10 amp input because of that 10 amp views which is why I've picked the 7510 um, Victron controller um, because anything that the panel generates in excess of 10 amps um, it will basically throw away well actually it will kind of come out as heat but as you can see in the cat in the cupboard there's plenty of space for that heat to dissipate um, indeed it's where the heat from the microwave dissipates as well so there's plenty of space there um, so I'm not really concerned the panel um, maximum current that it says it can generate is 10.6 amps and um, I think in general you're probably going to get about 50% um, of what you actually want, yeah, even in peak sunshine, about 50, maybe 70%. Um, so I don't think we're going to get anywhere near that. Um, slightly over panelling um, in order to get more power when the sun is low in the sky. Um, if you think about it um, from the point of view of, you know, if you're able to get 50%, um, but like on a day today, day like today, we're getting about maybe 5 or 10% of the uh, maximum wattage um, but if we had a smaller panel that five or ten percent would equate into much less power so slightly over paneling um, in order to get that higher current when the sun is a bit rubbish Hopefully this was useful. Um, if anyone's got any questions, please pop them in the um, uh, comments below. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell alert so that you get notified when I do other crazy things. I think, for now, that's probably as many drill uh, holes as I want to drill in the uh, roof. I do have a bit of an idea in the future for some aircon, but that's like, not now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope this was useful. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon.